brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to show data labels in tooltip on Hover in SSRS report. So we don't want to show the data labels instead of when we hover our mouse to those columns or bars or pi and then we want to see those values. So let's go ahead and create those reports and take a look. Now in the select query I'm using the region and item sold from a total sale table. So we will be using category as a region and then item sold will be values. Let's go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools, click on the reports, add new item and then select the report and provide the name. So I'm going to call this one tool tip chart. Hit add click on the data sources right click add data source provide some good name DS sales is better name and then here we are using the reference of a shared data source so we are using sales hit okay now in the data set right click add data set and provide some better name so the set sales and now we will be using this one as embedded select the data source provide your query that can be select or a store procedure hit OK. Now in the design surface right click and go to insert and chart. The very first one is a column chart so that's what I'm going to use and then we will convert to other types and see the impact hit OK. Now here let's make it this one a little bigger chart data in the values click add button and uh, select item sold and then uh, we have to select the category in the category we have uh, here a b c d and all we will be using our region instead of uh, those abcs and uh, the y-axis we have those intervals and uh, the height of these bars will be depending on the sum of items sold in each of the category so let's go ahead and preview that now we can see that uh, items sold in different uh, regions uh, asia uh, looks like 10 items are uh, sold in europe uh, they are close to 20 maybe 19 18 I don't know and uh, then for North America we also don't know it is above 10 but we don't know it's 11 or 12 so one thing uh, quick way is we go ahead and uh, right click on these bars and say show data labels that's uh, quickly and we can see those uh, values right uh, there but uh, we are not interested uh, to see the values all the time we are interested only when we hover our mouse to see those values. So in this SSRS is called tool tape. Now we go back to design, remove these. So let's delete them and then click on the bars again and go to series properties. And here in the series data, we have a tool tape. Now click on FX and here we will be providing the field. So we will be providing the field uh, we have uh, item sold so click OK hit OK now if we preview our report uh, and hover our mouse on these bars uh, we will see some values uh, so let's hover our mouse here so you see it is one Asia has uh, more than uh, one uh, it is 10 value and here you see it is 10 so these are incorrect values because uh, the scope the way we have put these expression they are not correct we have to take the sum of these values on each of the and that will be on data set level and let me go back series and then we have to provide the sum because each of the category we should be sum the items sold for each of the category and then that's it Hit OK. Now, if we preview our report, we see the correct value. So we see 10, that's correct. And then we hover mouse to the next one, that's Europe, that's 19. And the next one is 11. So that's how you will be writing your expressions. So, next part, let's click on this chart and change this chart to the pi and see if this logic works. So, hit OK. Preview the report. Now, if I hover my mouse here on the North America, I see 11. And if I hover my mouse uh, to the Asia, I see 10. And for uh, Europe, I see 19. So it's working exactly the way we wanted. Now, 
this uh, can be changed to any other type let's say we change to the bar chart and then uh, preview the report so now in the bar if i will uh, hover my mouse to north america it is uh, 11 europe 19 and asia 10 so that works as well now let me change this one to the line chart and uh, then uh, take a look if it does work with the line so we select a very basic line type and if I will move my, or hover my mouse here, I see 10. And if I will hover up, so now I see 19. And here I see 11. That's North America. So if I will be in middle, so that's kind of like tricky if you are in the middle. See right here. So if you are in the middle, just a few points, you will see 11. That's North America. But if you go a little up, and uh, that's 19 so I don't think so this is a great uh, on in this point uh, with the line but uh, with the pie and bar and uh, column chart this works great so if uh, you are interested uh, you can play with this one little more you have to just uh, um, right click change chart type and select different type of charts uh, and then uh, uh, play with it one more thing uh, let me let's try with the if we try with the 3d bubble let's see what happened then now here we hover our mouse 10 that's and then we have North Europe um, 19 for North America 11 so it works greater so only thing what you have to do to uh, create this tool taper you have to click uh, on the let me change this one to basic first uh, column and then click on that uh, sorry this is kind of okay click on these bars uh, right click and say series properties uh, and go to the series data and then write uh, the expression here so remember we took the sum of items uh, sold uh, and uh, that's how it is uh, given us the sum of uh, the categories when we will hover our mouse there thanks very much for watching this video and uh, your expression can be complex as well this was very basic uh, um, expression in my case I'm using only one uh, I'm using category and uh, just the values so in your case you might be using a um, series and all those kind of thing and you have to write complex uh, uh, expressions to show these uh, tooltips on hover uh, mouse thanks very much and I will see you guys in the next video